Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now, I recently held a poll on the channel and wanted to gauge what you guys would really like to see in Jurassic World 3. And over half of you really enjoyed the idea of having Doctors Grant, Sattler, and Malcolm back for the sixth entry in the series. I had a feeling this would win, seeing as it's something that I feel a lot of JP fans would love to see again. Even though Fallen Kingdom is yet to come out, I still say that we've got a pretty good chance at seeing all three of the leads from the original film return for a future installment someday, based off of the series history alone. If you think this is a possibility, let me know in the comments down below guys. Here's hoping for them all to return. It's safe to say that the hype train for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom has definitely left the station. It seems that every day or so, we're getting tons of new information surrounding the Dinosaur Protection Group, Mattel's new products, Jurassic World Evolution Dino Bios, and a whole assortment of other promotional material that will be getting released soon. Recently, we've gotten news on two brand new games that will be debuting alongside the new film as well. The first of which is called Jurassic World Alive, and from what I understand, this is basically going to be Pokemon Go meets Jurassic World The Game, which is an odd combination, but I gotta say it does sound like it's gonna make some money. I know a lot of people that actually still actively play Pokemon Go well after most people stopped, and let me tell you, that fan base is dedicated. The same thing can be said for Jurassic World The Game. So I think merging these two game formats together could create a very fun experience. You'll get the ability to battle your dinosaurs like you did in the last mobile game, but I'm not so sure how we're going to go about catching them, or if we even catch them at all to be honest. It looks like it could be a ton of fun, but very little information is out on the title so far. One thing that we can expect from the new game is the ability to walk around and discover new species of dinosaurs, and by using their DNA samples, we're promised to be able to create new hybrids for battle and collection purposes. I'm interested to see how this one turns out. Now, the second mobile game that we've gotten some news on happens to be a tie-in app that should be used along with Mattel's new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line. In order to take full advantage of its capabilities, players are asked to use the app to scan barcodes that will be featured in the bottoms of the new toy dinosaur's feet in order to access quizzes and special dinosaur facts. The app is currently available for download on iOS and Android is expected to get its own release very soon. If you open the app and play around with it presently, you'll be able to see some 3D models of hidden dinosaurs that are awaiting their unveiling when their respected barcodes get scanned. Some of the dinosaurs actually happen to be old school Jurassic Park favorites like the juvenile T-Rex from The Lost World and the male Velociraptor from Jurassic Park 3. That's something that I'm sure a ton of old school fans will enjoy. Now, apparently this new app will also feature several hints about what to expect from the new Fallen Kingdom sequel as well. So spoiler alert for any of those who wish not to hear this tiny bit of information. The Indoraptor actually has its own model within the app right now, and some facts were accessed by players that revealed the creation may have the ability to use echolocation in order to find its prey. While this is only a minor spoiler if it even turns out being a thing in the movie at all, I felt obligated to warn others about it because if there's one thing you don't want to do with JP fans, it's spoil anything about a new movie. And with that being said, that's pretty much it. These are the two new games that are currently being made to promote Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Let me know if either of these games interests you guys, and also let me know if you'd be interested in seeing gameplay from them on the channel. Well, who knows, it could be pretty fun. Now, before I go, I want to thank my game wardens, as well as my engine executives including our newest members, Colin Paul and Big Dan for the win. I'd also like to thank my park workers and engine hunters as well. It means the world to me that you guys have chosen to support the channel this way, and it's super awesome to have you all help me build this thing up and make it bigger and better than ever before. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video and hope that you all enjoyed today's content. If you feel like I deserved it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. And as always, take it easy.